So since my first video about SoundHound and since I bought the stock of this company, it has been about three months. And since then I've earned approximately 200% in profit. So now I'm back to evaluate this company once again, together with another stock that I have been following for the past couple of weeks. It's C3 AI to try and understand which one is a better investment right now. And is there a chance to earn another 200% in profit? In order to do so, we will compare the metrics like revenue in the trailing 12 months, stock momentum, total debt, total cash, cash from operations and price to sales ratio. Hey there and welcome to the Market Monkeys channel. It's Julia here and today's video I want to begin from what both of these companies do. And we will begin from C3 AI. So the company writes about themselves that they are a leading enterprise AI software provider for accelerating digital transformation. The proven C3 AI platform provides comprehensive services to build enterprise scale AI applications more efficiently and cost efficiently than alternative approaches. So basically in simple terms, they provide a platform with ready-made AI tools for the tasks like fraud detection, supply chain optimization or energy management. And they are operating in various industries like the government, manufacturing, financial services, oil, healthcare and others. Their solutions save companies time and money by making AI adoption much easier. And they are, by the way, similar to what Palantir does. Both of these companies are working in managing large amounts of data, but they have slightly different purposes. C3 AI specializes in pre-built AI applications for specific problems like fraud detection, while Palantir is focusing on the custom data management and analysis. It means basically helping the enterprises to solve complex and unique tasks by using their own data. C3 AI, despite being this startup-like company, they're not really a startup because they opened in 2009, since then grew significantly and went public, so they're not a startup, but I'm saying startup because they are focusing on innovations. They're a pretty small company, only four and a half billion dollars in market cap and they are growing and growing pretty nicely. So despite being this startup like company, they have some very big clients and they have actually some huge partnerships with the companies like Amazon, Alphabet and Microsoft. It's a huge deal for C3 AI because partnerships with hyperscalers like Google, Amazon and Microsoft has driven 62% of the company's agreements in the second quarter of 2025, among them 20 agreements that were made in collaboration with Alphabet, making a 180% year-over-year increase. Besides that, they're building momentum in the government sector, closing deals with the US Air Force and other defense organizations. By the way, if you find this information interesting, don't forget to press a like button and subscribe to our channel. It actually helps the algorithm of YouTube to promote our videos and we appreciate it very much. When I was researching information for this video, I had a question of why would the customer want to take on the solution from C3 AI and not from Palantir, for example. Basically, why would I want the solution for each separate problem when I can get Palantir that takes my own data and basically solves everything I need based on this data? After some discussion, me and Vadim thought that maybe you need to actually integrate all of your ecosystem inside of Palantir, while C3 AI is more of an external tool. So basically, it should be much easier to integrate and it's not such a big of a commitment. This is our version, right? We are completely not sure. And that's why I'm asking if some of you are working in the field or understand this, please write it in the comments because it's very important in the terms of how C3 AI will be able to stand the competition. Now in a few words, what SoundHound AI does. So they have this very cool voice AI technology that is already proving and is already working in restaurant and automotive industries. For example, if the restaurant of your choice is working with SoundHound AI and you want to make an order through the phone or you want to use the drive-in, you will get an answer from the AI that will talk and sound exactly like a human being. It will have the answers to all of your questions and you will never need to wait on the line for the phone operator to get available. 
In the automotive, they have even cooler purposes. Basically, with their voice AI, we will be able to talk to our cars without touching the screen and without taking our eyes off the road. Basically, your car will be able to turn on your favorite song. It will be able to give you the directions if you're not sure where to go. And if something is up with the car, it will be able to explain what is actually wrong. So in general, as you see, for the regular investors like us, it's much easier to understand what SoundHound does. It's something that we can experience ourselves and we can actually imagine how this technology of theirs will help us and will improve our lives. And basically, in my opinion, this is one of the reasons why this stock is getting so much attention. It's much easier to love the company that you actually understand and that is actually valuable to you. By the way, the enterprises or the customers of the companies like Palantir and C3 AI do not really understand themselves why do they need their solutions. So here is where Palantir's bootcamps come into the picture. They are selling their products by explaining and physically showing the problem and the solution to the customers. By the way, we have a dozens of video about Palantir on our channel, so if you're not sure what I'm talking about, you can go and check it out later. So C3 AI does something similar by letting businesses try their solutions out for free for six months and then to buy it and they call it a pilot program. But to understand which AI stock is better for us as for investors right now, we must compare their metrics like the stock momentum, revenue in the trailing 12 months, total debt, total cash, cash from operations, price to sales ratios as a part of valuation because both of these companies are unprofitable. And let's begin from the revenues in the trailing 12 months. So in terms of trailing 12 months revenue, we can see that C3 AI is a definite leader with $346 million, while SoundHound stands at only $67 million. SoundHound recently made huge acquisitions of Allset and Amelia AI, and thanks to these acquisitions, they are able to take and to write the revenues from these companies into their own books. It means if they wouldn't acquire both of these companies, their revenues would be even smaller than they are right now. C3 AI grew mostly thanks to the partnerships with Alphabet, Microsoft and Amazon. So we can basically say that this is their own revenues, which is of course a great news. Both companies have a pretty good amount of cash compared to their debt. So C3 AI has $700 million in cash and only $5.5 million in debt, which is basically nothing in comparison. They are also not burning cash that much, so we can say that there won't be any negative catalyst for the shareholders from this perspective. They probably won't be diluting the shares anytime soon. Sound has $135 million in cash, which is significantly less than what C3 has, although their debt is not huge as well, only $14 million. By the way, the debt was slightly bigger, but recently they have issued some additional shares to raise the capital and to cover the part of this debt, so the situation isn't that bad as well. Pretty bad news is that Sound is burning money significantly, but this is partly due to the acquisitions that we have mentioned before, and as long as their net change in cash is not terrible, the company most likely won't spend everything and shut down declaring bankruptcy. Now, of course, it's not such a positive thing to say, right, that the company won't close and declare the bankruptcy. But don't forget that here we're talking about two unprofitable companies. And while there are stories of success like Amazon, they were listed on the stock market, they were a couple of years unprofitable after turning everything around and the stock made some crazy returns since then, I mean, in the past 25 years. But don't forget that most of the companies like this, most of the companies that are struggling to be profitable are actually shutting down and closing their businesses. So the chances to actually lose the money on the stocks like this are much, much, much higher than the chances to actually earn something. But if you find the one that will make it, usually the potential returns cover the potential losses. Now let's move to the cash from operations and this metric shows how much money company generates or uses from their core business. So the cash from operations for C3 AI is a 21%. 
This means that even though the company is not profitable, net income is negative, the company is bringing in more cash than it spends in day-to-day -day operations, which is nice and this is definitely a way to eventually becoming profitable. For SoundHound AI, the situation is not that great. We can see that they have negative 93%, which means that the company burns a lot of cash in its business operations. Basically, we can say that for every $1 of revenue it makes, it spends $1.93 more in operating activities. And as a result, we are seeing this huge cash outflow. And finally, price to sales ratio. Here we can see that Sound has much higher valuation in terms of price to sales than C3 AI does. And if you watched everything that was said today in this video, you understand how crazy this is. Basically, C3 AI won this battle decisively without any losses. They have bigger revenues, they have more cash, they have less debt, they have better operating income. And for some weird reason, they're also almost seven times cheaper in valuation than SoundHound. Now, because we are comparing these two companies between them and not comparing them to the market, we cannot say that it means that C3 AI is cheap, but we can definitely, definitely say that it means that SoundHound AI is crazily overvalued right now. By the way, I have a couple of videos about SoundHound on this channel. I bought the stock of this company at approximately $6 per share and I wanted to buy much, much more when the stock of the company will go down to approximately $4 per share. But as you all know, it did not happen. The stock surged and I made more than 200% on this stock. I need to say that I really, really like this company, but with all of the metrics that we saw today and especially looking at their valuation right now, I need to say that investing right now in SoundHound is purely insanity. So that's why I would of course prefer C3 AI over SoundHound for now. And by the way, regarding the stock momentum, Sound has already surged more than 200% in the past six months. And with risky investments like this, we would want to see the possibility for the high returns. But after this surge, the chances for this are really, really slim. C3 AI, on the other hand, grew only 22% in the same time frame. So after I decided that SoundHound is actually overvalued for me, I decided to go and to take a look at C3 AI and what is happening with them. And for this, I decided to compare their valuation to the valuation of the sector. So both their trailing 12 months price to sales and forward price to sales are about 250% higher than the sector's median. They're at about 11.5 and, and the sector median is at 3.3, 3.4. Now the sector is huge and it depends on how fast the company will be growing and we actually have a prediction for this growth as well. So if we check their expected growth for the future, we can see that it's also higher than the sector median, but it's definitely not enough to justify this high valuation. They are actually priced at the average of analyst expectation, so there is a chance for growth, of course, but in my opinion, the risk is not worth it. Right now we see that AI sector is booming with players and C3 AI is not a new company, so in my opinion, they do not stand the competition, at least for now. In SoundHound's case, I actually invested because I thought that they have a big possibility to be acquired by some giant like Amazon, for example. They have Alexa, so this voice AI technology could definitely be helpful for them. And they are already doing services for other businesses. So it could be actually a very nice fit. In the case of C3, they have to rely on their own marketing, they have to rely on their own growth. I do not think that they will be acquired by someone, so I think they need to work actually really, really hard to already capture some bigger part of the market share. So for the conclusion, investing in C3 AI is definitely a possibility depending on your risk tolerance, depending on your assumptions, depending on your vision for the future for this company. And I would say that SoundHound right now is a strong sell. Write in the comments, what do you think about these companies? Did you invest in any of them? Do you want to enter these stocks right now? Don't forget to support our channel by pressing a like button, subscribing. It really helps our channel to grow. I'll see you on our channel next time. Happy investing.